This problem is on the back of complex kinematics. Um, I believe the tortoise and the hare. It tells us the tortoise and a hare are racing. The tortoise travels at a slow, steady velocity of three meters per second, so he gets a moving start. The hare, on the other hand, takes a nap for the first 10 seconds of the race because he's a quick napper, and then he starts from rest. The race is 65 meters long. Two things we're looking for. Part A, what does the acceleration of the hare need to be in order to catch the tortoise right at the finish line? And part B, how fast is the hare traveling when he crosses the finish line? So let's draw our picture. We've got a tortoise. Moving at constant speed the whole time, nice and slow. And then we've got the hare, so our little rabbit, bunny ears. This looks a little bit more like a cat, oh well. Starting from rest and then accelerating. What do we know? We know that the tortoise is traveling at a constant steady velocity, so I'll call that Vt of 3 meters per second. We know that the time for the tortoise will be equal to 10 seconds plus the time for the hare. And we also know that the race is 65 meters long, so they're both going to be going the same distance. And the hair is starting from rest, so the initial for the hair is 0 meters per second. And we are looking for the acceleration of the hair. Again, the tortoise is moving at constant velocity, has no acceleration, and the final, how fast the hare is traveling as he crosses the finish line. So we'll start by looking at the tortoise. So tortoise. He's moving at a constant velocity. Constant velocity means that his distance will equal his velocity times the time that it takes him. So the total distance traveled divided by his velocity will equal the time. That was the wrong, sorry, displacement. Total distance displacement in this case are equal because he's moving in the same direction the whole time. So 65 meters divided by 3 meters per second is the time. So 65 divided by 3 is 21.6, keeps on going seconds. And this is the time for the tortoise, the whole race. Now if we look at the hare, we knew from our given that the time of the tortoise was equal to 10 seconds minus the time of the hare because he took 10 seconds longer. Sorry, this should be plus. So the time of the tortoise minus 10 seconds will tell me how long it took the hair for the race. Unrounded number 21.6 keeps on going seconds minus 10 seconds is the time for the hair. So it takes the hair 11.6 keeps on going seconds to finish the race. Again, you want to store this number in your calculator. You want to use the whole unrounded number. I would store this as probably A or T. So we know how long it takes the hair to find to finish the race, we know the hare's initial velocity and we know the delta x. What we're looking for is acceleration. There's an option here as to what equation you want to use since you have time. Um, you have delta x and you know v initial. You can make this one or two parts. I'm going to start by using this equation to solve it in one step. So we could have found the final velocity first and then use the no time equation, or we can find this and then use final velocity. Again, of the three equations, it doesn't matter what order we solve in. So delta x equals 1 half a t squared 
plus V initial T. V initial was zero. Looking for acceleration, so this is part A. Looking for acceleration, I'm going to isolate the A. So 2 delta X over T squared equals acceleration. 2 times 65 meters divided by my unrounded number, 11.6 keeps on going seconds. This is why it helps to have it stored. Squared equals A. 2 times 65 divided by 11.6, not repeating, but keeps on going, squared, gives me 0 0.955, keeps on going, meters per second, squared, for acceleration. This is only one sig fig, so the acceleration of the hair is approximately one meter per second squared. Next thing I'm looking for in part B is the final velocity. So again, option here, um, you can use either the no time equation or the first equation. I'm just going to use V final equals V initial plus AT. Hair started from rest, so V initial is zero. V final equals my unrounded acceleration. So this is a 0 0.95, keeps on going, meters per second squared, times my unrounded time, 11.6, keeps on going, seconds. This will give me 11.14 dot 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 meters per second. So the final velocity for the hair with one sig fig is about 10 meters per second. So they finish the race at the same time. Um, they're in the same place. I could have made this more complicated by not giving you the distance. So that would have turned this into a substitution problem. But since you had that information, this became a little bit more straightforward. Hardest thing here was just making sure that you don't round and kind of knowing how the tortoise and the hare were related. Not terribly difficult. Uh, but a little bit more complex since two things were going on in the problem.